catch one right now. I got two of them on my bait. You got one there now? They're working it. This one's better. Yeah? Yeah, this is the kind we're after, Ron. I like it when they stay down, when they bulldog on you, oh, like a oh, smallmouth. Yeah. <laughs> this is the better kind. There you go. Sweet. Absolutely. Beautiful. The male, too. That's a good way to start the day. There what do you, you think, go, Ron? There you go, man. Tell you what, if it's going to be like that, we've got beautiful Lake Simcoe laying down for us, buddy. It doesn't happen every day, but it's going to happen today. <laughs> well, it does on this side of the lake. Innisfil's yeah. normally prevailing winds are the west, yeah. and we're on yeah. Innisfil, beautiful Simcoe County. Hi, folks. Welcome to the show. I'm Ron James. I'm Jeff Chisholm. We are after those guys right there, and that's a good way to start it. Yes. I'll tell you, we came out pre-fishing last night. Oh, you, did we ever. <laughs> you got a big in there, so we're on some fish. We got some clear water to deal with. You don't want to miss this show. Stick around. They're going to get bigger from here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my, get him! Send the lock, he's on! Oh, yeah! Another 20. Nice. <laughs> Ontario Toyota Dealers presents Fish TV. It's time to Toyota. With your hosts, Leo Stakos, Ron James, and Jeff Chisholm. Brought to you by Ontario Power Generation. Powering Ontario's future. Rapala, crafted from experience. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's Canada. Your venture starts here. Fram, designed by experts, trusted by drivers. Awesome. Uh-huh. Smaller one? Ron, we found a school of the elusive orange finned tiger donkeys last night. These are the junior versions. You think? <laughs> These yeah. are good fish. They're good. But there are some giants around here and we are gonna find them. We were out here last night. I just let this fish go. We were out here cruising around with the Garmins looking for fish and we figured out the pattern of what depth those fish are in because we could see them on the Garmin. Threw a couple of baits in just to see what size we were dealing with and man, if we find those today, they are gigantic. All right, my system is, I gotta get the fish to 50 feet in front of the boat, because I can't cast any farther. <laughs> 40 to 50 feet. I'm gonna switch baits here shortly if I don't get one on this. Drop it all the way to the bottom and just slow roll it back. Like as slow as you can go. Problem is you get that grass. I noticed this is staying down a little further. There's one. Oh, good one too, bud. Nice. On that little jigging spoon. Yeah? Not bad. Well, the ice fishing's pretty good in this lake, so... Uh, oh, I... absolutely. <laughs> you know what? I just thought I'd try a jigging spoon. And sometimes it might need something with a, a little more of a reaction bite, right? Yeah. Little one there. Little one. Ten, ten and a half. When you come to Innisfil, there's so much to do. Lake Simcoe is an, a fish factory, trust me. You can fish lakers, whitefish. They've got operators everywhere, right right out front of uh, Innisfil here. I just thought, we'll try that little bull spoon. That's a new spoon by Rapala right there. Just ripping it. This water is so gin clear. We're marking all kinds of perch. And that was the first time I threw it out there, so let's see what happens. What color do you have on right now? Uh, chartreuse with a the silver. There we go, little wee guy. These ones are spawning here, bud. Yeah? They're milking all over the place. What'll happen is these fish, you'll get one big female, and then you'll get like 10, 12 small males following it. Once she lays her eggs, they lay them in strips and they just keep swimming. And once she lays her eggs, they fertilize them right behind her. And it's, it's crazy, it's, it's like a fight to breed with the female. And it's fun to watch them. I've seen them when they're shallow, you can really see the, the way they work. Not like a normal, uh, like a bass or a trout. They make a red and they spawn. Perch actually swim and spawn. It's kind of cool. On the spoon. Not bad. Look at that one. There we go. We're getting better. Getting better. There's a lot of fish down there, I'll tell you. You just gotta wean through these ones to get to the bigger ones. Right there, look at that, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six bars. I need one with like eight bars on it. 
<laughs> that would be the better one. Still a beautiful fish though, eh? If you look at it, you got the orange fins. They just blend right into the bottom with these bars. These are pretty sharp right here. You don't want to put your hand on there. You kind of slide your hand down like that and grab them but, or lip them like that. That's just a great Lake Simcoe perch right there. And they get giants out here, like, you know, up to two pounds. Of, believe it or not, two pound perch, they're here. One of the right ones, bud. There we go. That's a better one. That's a fatty. Ooh, not a bad one. Not bad at all. Better. We're on them. Got him? Yep. Not bad at all. Jig and wrap fish. Got the little goby jig and wrap here. One of my favorite baits of all time. Spring, summer, everybody knows winter. This is an all season bait. It is. A lot of people think these jig and wraps are just for ice fishing. The bigger ones are great for walleye. Absolutely. Instead of ripping like uh, bucktails or ripping jigs, you get a bigger size one of these and just start ripping them for walleye and they, they catch them. For sure. It's now time for the Garmin Force Tip of the Week. Little secret for you. When you find those perch in Innisfil and you're out there and you find these big schools of them, get off to the side for the bigger ones. Those little ones like to stay together in bunches and bunches. Those bigger ones will get on the outside and feed. So the next time you find a big school, just move off a little bit onto each side. You might get some bigger ones. Not a bad one. Not a giant, but a not a bad one. Look at how clear that water is on Lake Simcoe. Just beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Barely got them hooked on the middle hook. Look at that. But the good thing about Innisfil, you got boat launches all the way. There's a public boat launch in Innisfil Beach Park. And there's another one down Shores Road. But the Innisfil Beach Park one's nice because they have all the amenities there. It's beautiful spot. I like the idea that there's boat launches all the way along and then you can hit these private marinas like Cook's Bay Marina where we're staying is uh... Monterino? Monterino. I don't know why I find that hard to say. I know Wilson's <laughs> a great guy. I love the guy. He's just opened his arms for us. We left our boat there. Come on, leave your vehicle here and it's nice and safe. Absolutely. If you ever want to come up here, make sure you look at Innisfil and the Simcoe County area. You'll have a great vacation. It's great fishing. I'll bet you one day Canadian record smallmouth is going to come out of this lake. There is giant, giant smallmouth. Like I'm talking stringers of five fish for 30 plus pounds. There you go. There's 400 of these guys in the 20 feet underneath this yeah. line. Oh, I 400 know. of them, easily. Yeah. You look at the live scope, you can barely see bottom. The bottom moves, <laughs> like the bottom literally moves with them. Yeah. We're in 23 feet of water and you can see the fish. And they're all the way right out to, what, 100 feet? I've got it set for 100. I don't know how people fish now without it. <laughs> well, the good news is you don't have to have live scope here for this. It sure helps and it's great for locating them, but yeah. just a regular Garmin sonar, and sure. GPS mark the spots. You're gonna see there's so many fish down here, you're gonna mark them. Now, when we were fishing in that other spot with the real clear water, uh, yeah. live scope is essential for that. Yeah, Absolutely because essential. we're pushing fish, right? Yeah. Like we're, yeah. we're, we're actually, when you step on the trolling motor, you know, they know you're there 15 feet. I, I mean, if we're gonna go If you within back. 40 feet of those fish, forget it, forget they're it. gone. They're gone, <laughs> yeah. But that other spot, it's, it's almost like the water's a little colder. Maybe, it I don't is. know. It is, it's three degrees colder there. It is, eh? Yep. So that means to me, they're just getting in there, starting to set up. Yeah. And those, the, the big females are moving right in there. There's another one right there. Look at that, just one after another, it's crazy. There we go. Just another Simcoe County perch. Not a bad one at all. One of the right ones. Nice. One of the right ones, bud. There we go. Ooh, that's a better. That's a better one. Very nice, man. There we go, buddy. Let's see that thing. Oh, yeah. You get a lot bigger than that, but that's a good one right there. <laughs> I'll take them all day long. The 11 incher. Nice colors. Beautiful fish. Nick Simcoe, man. Known for its fishing. 
I'll tell you, not just perch. We were here last summer, eh, Jeff? Oh, man. <laughs> were we ever. Those were some nice smallmouth. <laughs> oh, man. Have a look at this. We did a show here back in for Simcoe County and in Innisfil, but we did a smallmouth show. Absolutely. This guy here got a surprise, I'll tell you. Have a look at this. Oh, oh my, that, that is, is a giant. giant. Get the net, Leo. That is exactly what you come to this for, oh, right there. That's a tank. Oh. Look at the size of that fish. Look at the size of this thing. Get him, Leo. Yeah, oh look at that gosh. tanker. Oh, what a tank. <laughs> oh, holy mackerel. <laughs> wow, that is great. That, it was just barely hooked by. Look at this. There you go. Look at the size of that. Oh, that's what you, that is it right there. I got to tell you guys, Lake Simcoe <laughs> has some tanks in it. Absolutely. And the best part about it is we went from Innisfil all over this lake here. Yeah. Get right back to Innisfil and that's what you get. What a cow. That's right. a giant. Nice. <laughs> wow. Now what do you think you get here up in the shoulders? Oh, that's over five. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. That's five and a half inch pounds. He, he, might, almost, be, he uh, might be six. He might yeah. be six. 100%. This thing go. She is a tank. What a cow. Hold on, what do you got? <laughs> Whitefish? Nice to perch. There you oh, go. Oh yeah, I love when that pulls drag when you lift them out of the water. Portions of Fish TV were brought to you by Mercury. Go boldly. Oh wow, big fish. Took it and ran. You're right, just leave it there. There's one. Oh, that one's actually bulldog. Hold on, what do you got? <laughs> Whitefish? No, it's a decent nice perch. perch. There you oh, go. Oh yeah, I love when that pulls drag when you lift them out of the water. There you go. <laughs> what I've got on here is actually one of Rapala's brand new baits. This here is the uh, crushed city and the eggs are just coming out of this yes. guy. Not only that, the new red line drop shot hook. They are deadly. These are the best hooks that you have ever seen. Deadly sharp. Well, strong. Oh. Getting to use them here on these perch. Can't wait to get using them on the bass. So the crush walleye. city. Yep. Brand new. Just came out. I cast. Absolutely. Beautiful baits. It's now time for the Ontario Toyota Dealers Tackle Box. Hey guys, we're going to take a minute of the action and show you exactly what we used here today. We are using 13 fishing spinning reel combos. I've got a Fate Black 7 foot 2 light combo with a 1000 series spinning reel six pound suffix 832 braid to four pound suffix advanced fluorocarbon line. Then on there, we've got a drop shot rig. Now I wanna show you what's special about this. We have the new VMC red line drop shot hook. This is a size four. These hooks are absolutely phenomenal. They're a vanadium steel. That's the same steel that they use in Formula One race cars. And it's got a PTFE coating on it, which makes it really easy to get that hook penetration in. They're a super light, super strong hook and they stay ultra sharp. They are the best premium hook on the market. And then a tungsten VMC drop shot weight on that. Now, what's also cool about those hooks is they come with this hook lock keeper. You can store them. You can see the exact size. Helps you keep your tackle organized. It's a great product. And what we've got that's really cool is the new Rapala Crush City Baits. We were using this one here called the Suspect. It is a TPE, thermoplastic elasticer. It gives this really stretchy, super durable. We use the same bait all day, caught all kinds of fish on one bait. They are absolutely phenomenal, and they are a new product from Rapala, the Crest City. And I use them for all of your fishing, whether it's walleye, bass, keep an eye out for these, and you're gonna catch more fish just like we did today. Scotty Holmes pulling up on the Rapala Rap boat. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? You got your limits? 50 each. Oh. Nice. You guys are awesome. Maybe we should put the camera guy in that boat. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, buddy. A little better. It's all right. Yeah. Not the ones like Greg got. You know what? You just never know. You could be plucking along here, and then boom, you get into a school of bigger ones. Yeah. But just fun catching a whole lot of them. Either this is a giant, or I got a foul hook. What do you got there, Ron? I don't know if it's a big one or not. You got a spinner? You swiped at it, see? Now, oh, this is where you want to slide your hand down, not up. Oh, caught him just in the side there, not too bad. Just a little poke out. 
if you ever catch one like that on the side where it swipes at it and doesn't eat it, just take your hand, if you can, or your thumb, and just run it down before you grab the fish like that, and then hold it, and then you won't get spiked. This one here, there's no spikes on the bottom of that, but the top dorsal fin, there's always spikes. That's just a nice, healthy Simcoe perch. Again, on the chicken wrap, they're just eating us. Love it. I zoomed in a little, just to see if we can pick apart the bigger, bigger ones. Fish. Yeah. You have to put it down there long enough for them to oh, forget I about just, it. Yeah, I felt it. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Come on. It's not so bad. It's not bad at all. There you go, bud. Double right header. There. Yeah. Oh, I lost my... Oh, that's all right. Not bad. On the Crush City. The Crush City. <laughs> There's a better one. Oh, you got one there, Rob? I think so. Good one? That one's right there. Oh. I thought it was better the way it hit. No. That's all right. It's just an average. We'll get into the bigger ones yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. That feels like a little bit better one. Oh, well, gotten a little grass, that's why. <laughs> Still a good fish, though. All right, I'll take them all day long. A little bit of salad to go with your meal. Look at that, zebra mussel. Right on that weed. Look at that. Perch. Lake Simcoe, Simcoe County, and it's Bill Perch right there. That was a good one. Well, Ron, you know what I want for Christmas? What? One of those big giant ones. <laughs> Come on, you're wearing your Santa suit. You're right. You know what? They got a Christmas market actually at Friday Harbor. Friday Harbor, yeah. Friday Harbor, that place blows my mind. It's like a little city, like right on the lake within itself. It is absolutely gorgeous. They have a winter festival there and all the things for the kids and everything. What a gorgeous location. Just it that is. that waterfront, it's, the marina. It's the right there. Condos they're building there. It's just a beautiful spot. Yeah, there There's is. There's like all these restaurants, the Lake Club restaurant. Wow, we went there for lunch. The food is incredible there. Groceries, a Starbucks, it's beautiful. It, it's yeah. like their own little community. Yeah, yeah. Giant Simcoe perch like this one right here. Yeah, there's a good one right there. Man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I just love this place. Love these baits. Love this lake. Oh, that one come flying in. <laughs> Small, big. Yeah. Fighting a oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that is crazy. Well, he, he was coming up. He was oh, coming up like, for me. Oh, look at that one coming up. What an idiot I am. Ron sees this uh, fish coming up on He's like, he's coming up, he's coming up. That's because I'm reeling him up. That's why. <laughs> you don't even let me know that you got one. You just yeah. start reeling. Oh, live scope is something else. You know what? <laughs> That's what got me. Look at the screen. Yeah, loaded. Just unreal. Like how many fish are down here? Just on the south side of Snake Island. Just a short little boat ride from Marina. And loaded in here. This is a great spot to take the kids, eh? Oh, for sure. You know what? You could, you could have a boatload of kids and just come out here and just wail on them. <laughs> There's so many fish here. It's a better one too. Yeah. Feels like it. Another average, bud. Yeah. It's a good fish, though. Nine, nine incher, probably. Fat one, though. Nice. You know what I like about these Crush City baits? They last forever. Yeah. Yeah. I've been fishing the same one the entire day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. Worth every cent. Because a lot of the plastics you get, they rip, they tear. Yeah. You know? These are good. There oh, you yeah. go, man. <laughs> That's oh. what it is. I love got it when right they there. fight like a smallie. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna reach over and uh, belly him oh, in because I, I got some light line on here, and I just yeah, don't want to. Uh, oh, we'll, we'll bring it in, belly it. I love these hooks. Oh these yeah. These red line. Yeah. And they catch you some giant Simcoe perch like this one right here. That is a good one right there, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Double. Mine looks a little silver, Ron. Oh, what is that? <laughs> I think I got a herring. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Herring. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All the species. Wow. <laughs> Lake herring. Look at that. That's wicked. Big fish feed on those. Oh, yeah. All right. We'll let them go. There we go. 
That's we're getting there. That's uh, one to release into the hot oil, eh? <laughs> it's nice to keep a few of these kind of size fish and then let the real, real big ones go. But... Yep. I hear drag. I like the sound of that. This looks like a better one, bud. Feels like a better one. Oh yeah, that's a better fish. Beautiful. There we go. That's a chunky one. That's a chunky one there. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah, look at that one. Wow. And I'm just hauling in these left and right. <laughs> but it's been a great day though. Holy, you know what? <laughs> I'm telling you. Go. It has been a great day. Look at how fat that one is. You're all nice ones, Jeffrey. We had fun today. I had fun yeah, with you did. today. Let me let this fish go. I'll tell you what, folks, you gotta come to Innisville. That you do. You know what? You're on the west side of Lake Simcoe. Prevailing winds, it's always calm out here. Yeah. You could always catch fish, whether what, smallmouth? We were here for a smallmouth show. Yeah, I wanna come back for whiteys and lakers at some point too. You know what? Yeah. In the winter time, we're gonna do that. Uh, you can catch some giant lake trout, giant whitefish. Until next week, I'm Ron James. I'm Jeff Chisholm. We'll see you right here on Fish TV. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Fish TV was brought to you by Lund, the ultimate fishing experience. And Mercury, go boldly.